Japanese doctor Shoji Yokobori says his days as an emergency medical officer at the Olympics are strangely quiet. He oversaw weightlifting this week, where by Tuesday he was yet to see a major injury and so far no cases of the coronavirus. Now I feel that so uh, safety here because uh, we have no uh, COVID inside and uh, you know that we don't feel the uh, pandemic. Uh, just like in a bubble. Tokyo's Olympics bubble, where more than 80% are vaccinated against the coronavirus, is a sharp contrast to Yokobori's regular life on the outside, running the intensive care unit at Nippon Medical School Hospital in Tokyo. But the world is never far away. He still receives urgent calls from his own hospital staff, asking questions like whether to use lung support for critical COVID-19 cases. But uh, when we go back to the uh, real world, uh, like in the hospital, and you know, that as you see the uh, many uh, patients of uh, COVID-19 is now existing here. So uh, now we are struggling every day. Our team is also, so uh, this also makes us a little exhausted. So uh, like, uh, you know, heaven and hell. The doctor is worried about Japan's worsening number of cases and said he is prepared to leave the Olympic venue permanently to return to the hospital should the virus situation worsen. For Japanese culture that takes pride in exquisite hospitality, the doctor has been forced to provide a lower level of service than he would prefer to prevent cross-contamination between his workplace and the Olympic venues. All in all, Yokobori, a fan of tennis player Naomi Osaka, said he was still proud to contribute to the Olympics.